It's July 21st, 1969, at 3.56 a.m. Central European Time, when a manned spaceflight reaches an absolute milestone. As part of the Apollo 11 mission, which received worldwide attention, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin succeed in becoming the first humans in history to set foot on the surface of an alien celestial body. But despite all the subsequent moon landings and exploration missions, we are still far from having unraveled every mystery of our most faithful satellite. Light. The list of captivating lunar discoveries is still being regularly expanded today with equally exciting and revealing finds. In today's video, we'll show you what unexpected discoveries experts have recently made on Earth's satellite and what the gigantic structure beneath the lunar surface is all about. Excited about the groundbreaking discoveries and unique spectacles in the universe? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell for regular updates on these exciting topics. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. Gigantic Structure Beneath the Lunar Surface Earth's moon is graced by one of the largest preserved craters in the entire solar system, the so-called South Pole Aiken Basin. Before you turn your eyes hopefully to the firmament to have a look at this fascinating structure, we have to tell you that this will not be granted to you. In fact, the largest impact crater on Earth's constant companion is located on the legendary backside of the moon. As the name of the imposing basin suggests, it stretches from the southern pole of the celestial body to the Aiken Crater. Its diameter is given at 1,300 miles. Other estimates put the diameter of this enormous crater at 1,500 miles, with a depth of between 7 and 8 miles. Now, researchers have discovered a no less impressive structure beneath the crater's surface, which immediately made waves among experts. A structure weighing nearly 5 billion pounds and extending over a depth of more than 180 miles. But what could this mysterious structure be? More than a few experts assume that the enormous mass comes from exactly the same asteroid that once formed the South Pole Aiken Basin. In order to make the dimensions of this discovery comprehensible, Peter B. James, the main author of the study, put the extreme find in an earthly context. The total size of the subterranean moon structure is approximately five times as large as the Big Island of Hawaii. This insight into the depths of the moon was obtained within the framework of NASA's gravity recovery and interior laboratory program. During the lunar mission, which was completed by two unmanned space probes between 2011 and 2012, the experts hoped to gain insightful information about the inner structure of the Earth's satellite. In detail, subtle changes in the gravitational field of the satellite were measured. The data obtained in this way can in turn be used to study the internal composition of our natural companion as well. In the course of their work, the researchers finally came across an unexpectedly large mass hidden beneath the South Pole Aiken Basin. As briefly mentioned, one explanation posits that this is the metal of the asteroid that once formed the impact site. The computer simulation performed in this regard shows that it is indeed possible that the corresponding material was embedded in the lunar mantle instead of sinking towards the core. An alternative explanation sees the origin of the gigantic formation in the solidification phase of the celestial body. According to this, the subsurface concentration of dense oxides could have formed during the cooling and subsidence of the original magma ocean. However, the South Pole Aiken Basin is also repeatedly in the scientific headlines for another reason. Evidence of water ice has already been identified there. The deeper parts of the impact site are never exposed to sunlight, which is the optimal condition for the permanent existence of water ice. Crashing Rockfalls just how enormous the natural forces are that act on the various celestial bodies of the cosmos also becomes clear to us when we take a look at an exciting lunar process that normally eludes our earthly gaze, so-called rockfalls. In the course of these processes, rock fragments many feet high start to move before they thunderously crash into the lunar valleys. The traces left by rockfalls on the surface of the Earth's satellite first came into focus during the first Apollo missions. Although the astronauts at that time succeeded in taking a close look at some of the resulting ground corridors and collecting rock samples, 
creating a general overview of the frequency and distribution of rockfalls remained an insurmountable task for many decades. Until now, a few years ago, a team of experts at ETH Zurich succeeded in producing the first comprehensive map of these unique rock movements. As part of the project, more than two million images of the lunar surface were analyzed. To accomplish this complex task, a specially programmed search algorithm was used, which is capable of autonomous learning and recognizing typical rockfall traces on satellite images. The resulting map, which covers an area between 80 degrees north and 80 degrees south latitude, ultimately shows more than 135,000 rockfalls with diameters of at least 8 feet. Consequently, from now on, the researchers will also be able to put the recorded distribution and frequency into a larger context and find out what causes rockfalls to occur on alien celestial bodies. In the past, scientists represented the assumption that the movements of rock masses are caused above all by moonquakes. This did not prove true in the course of the new realizations, however. Here, it seems, asteroid impacts are what more often come into play. These impacts are thought to cause, directly or indirectly, more than 80% of all rockfalls on the moon. Accordingly, rockfalls occur particularly frequently in the direct vicinity of crater walls. While some of these huge chunks break loose immediately after the impact, others are set in motion much later. In other words, this means nothing else than that the impacts of the past actively shaped the surface of the moon until today. But how is this possible? The experts assume that as a result of the impacts, a subterranean network of cracks is formed. This means that areas of the surface can still be set in motion even after very long periods of time. How this time-delayed mobilization of rock carries out in reality becomes clear to us if we consider that even in those crater regions that originated 4 billion years ago, traces of fresh rockfalls can be found to this day. Molecular Water Experts have known for some time that the moon is not as dry as it appears at first glance. Nevertheless, the headline that was published a few months ago caused quite a stir, and not only among experts. In truth, the Earth's satellite seems to harbor far greater water resources than researchers had previously assumed. This exciting discovery was made possible by the use of SOFIA, a Boeing 747SP aircraft flying at an altitude of 8 miles and equipped with a special 106-inch telescope. And indeed, during one of these research flights, a team led by Casey Hanubal succeeded in detecting the existence of molecular water on the lunar surface. What was most unexpected? The captivating discovery was recorded in a lunar region that is illuminated by the sun at the crater Clavius. The water molecules are hidden in microscopic glass spheres as well as between the grains of regolith. The amount of water discovered roughly equals the contents of a conventional 10-ounce drinking glass. However, the molecular water is distributed over an area equivalent to a regulation soccer field. In the past, the deep impact and Cassini space probes were able to find evidence of the presence of water on the Earth's satellite. The problem with the measurements at that time, however, was that the infrared radiation wavelength used could not distinguish between actual water molecules and so-called hydroxyl radicals, which consist only of an oxygen and hydrogen atom. However, thanks to the use of SOFIA's complex stratospheric telescope, researchers can now say with certainty that molecular water exists without a doubt on our satellite. The fact that the water molecules were detected in a region that heats up to almost 250 degrees Fahrenheit seems particularly perplexing. Why the water does not evaporate there despite these circumstances, has not yet been conclusively clarified. One theory is that the water molecules are brought to the surface by micrometeorites and are deposited there in the rock. In addition, the water deposits from deeper lunar layers could reach the surface of the celestial body as a result of larger impacts. Solar wind could also play a central role in this process by transporting hydrogen atoms to the satellite, where they eventually become water molecules. But there is also new information about those lunar regions where the water is in the form of ice. The corresponding areas, which are always in shadow, are called cold traps. New data indicate that about 10 
10 acres of the lunar surface act as just such cold traps and consequently could also harbor water ice. Now we want your opinion. What do you think about the enormous structure below the lunar surface and the latest findings about Earth's constant companion? Drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's post in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting videos on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other contributions on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.